let us in. And now, you are going to have to let us stay. After finishing season two, what was I kind of, what were my burning questions? Yeah. Probably the whole supernatural element with the mind flare. It's like, you know, you close this gate and then at the end they give you this kind of teaser sort of thing that, you know, the upside down still exists and this entity still exists in it. So that would be my biggest unfinished question is like, is kind of putting this band-aid on the gate enough to get rid of this, you know, connection between these two worlds? And if it's not enough, how are they gonna, you know, stop that from kind of coming back into our own world. Henderson! <laughs> Henderson! He's back! He's back! I'm back! You got the job! You got the job! Hey! Oh! <laughs> 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 uh. How many children are you friends with? Well, from like going from being a fan of Stranger Things to being a cast member of it is like a super exciting transition. And I even when you were talking, I was thinking about what questions I was left with. And mm. you know, I really wanted to when I watched the end of season two, and I really wanted to understand more about more about what the upside down means and like what the kind of symbolism of it me is and how, what the rules of it are and how it works. And that's kind of what you were talking about. I repeat, this is a code of red. 